Hello and welcome. This is Sherry with Heart and Soulful in the studio today. And I am ready to show you the final flip through of this travel inspired junk journal. So if you have been following along in this series, I know a few of you have and you've been anxious to when I was I going to get to the to the end and do a final flip through and today is the day. So um, it took me a little bit to get to that point because there were a couple other things that I wanted to have finished at this point. Uh, so that I can just do a complete package. This will be the last video. There'll be all kinds of links at the end um, in the description for you. So it took me a little bit to do that. And I'm going to kind of do show you what, what that is because it's part of this whole package. So if you're just joining me for the very first time, uh, welcome. I hope if you like this uh, video, you'll give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on the next series, which I hope to be starting soon. So um, just a quick what this is about um, is I had given myself a challenge to do a junk journal that was only allowing me to use recycled book page paper. The two previous journals I had done were um, altered books and I had removed a lot of pages and I wanted to start using up some of my blank book page. So I had given myself the challenge to do that in a journal, no decorative paper packs, no GG prints, nothing like that. And then someone asked me if I would do a stacked envelope junk journal tutorial again. So that became my format. And I didn't have a theme in mind at that point. So when I started, I, I just made a book covered in book page, um, the stacked envelope junk journal. Since then, I've had to redo that video uh, for the basic build. So I'm going to put a link to this series in the description but in that series, if you want to actually do this project, there is one that's titled Watch Me First, and that is the remake of the structure of the base of the journal. It, you could use it for any theme after that. You don't have to do the recycled book page challenge, but if you want, it's a lot of fun. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, this is just a, a little packet of freebies. I'll go through them at the end because they won't make sense now if you haven't been watching the series. So these are some freebie downloads that you can get. I'll put a link to that file in the description. I'm going to leave a, a link to uh, the entire series so that you can find that playlist easily. And then I also have digital downloads now um, that are on my Etsy shop and I'll go through those page by page. It ended up being 31 pages in um, two files on my Etsy shop and you can only do 10 photos so I had to get creative about what is in that in the description of my Etsy dis um, digitals. So I'm going to show all those today too that way you can see everything you will get. And then also the other thing that I did was um, if you're just joining me for the first time, you don't know that I do lots of other things. In fact, this paper craft stuff is actually very new to me. So I wanted to combine um, my jewelry making with my uh, journaling projects. So I've decided, starting with this one, that whenever I do a journal project, I'm going to do jewelry that fits that theme also, that kind of coordinates with the whole thing. That just kind of satisfies all of my creative outlets. Um, so I want to show you real quick. These are now on my Etsy shop. I've only made three pieces so far. Um, but when you watch this series, if you haven't been following along, one of the thing that one of the things that I did was I did uh, mixed media papers, um, and that was what I was re referring to um, as far as my digital downloads. I'll go through these later, but. I ended up using only book page to make my own mixed media art. And that were that was what I used for my decorative papers in the journal project. When I did that, I also ended up making handmade beads and these little rings. So you can see I'm wearing one and I've been wearing it for a while since I made it um, just because I wanted to see how wear and tear it would be. Um, these were made, uh, there is a video in this series of how to make these little paper beads. So I had done that, so I went ahead and made another little bracelet. And this one, I've added uh, little copper beads in between. I don't know if you can see those really well. But these were all made from my mixed media papers. And then I've covered them with two coats of jeweler's grade resin so that they are hard like beads. They are still paper and they're, there's no resin on the inside of the bead. So I would not wear this swimming or anything like that or in the shower. 
Um, if you're doing dishes or something like that, that's probably not a big deal because they are all coated on the outside. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't wear this in the shower or swimming. Now this one I also did with my um, twist hook and loop. Those are handmade also by me. And then I made this one adjustable just because I don't know who's going to end up buying it. Um, you just, I glue these knots, which I haven't glued this one yet, but I glue them so that the knot doesn't come undone, but then you can slide it and then it'll make it larger. So this one goes from seven inches to seven and a half inches. Mine on my wrist, I like a little loose for this type and it's this one's seven inches. So that little bracelet is on there. It's on my Etsy shop, like I said, I'll put the link, and this one is $24. So that will be there. And then I also did two necklaces, and I wanted to, them to be really a bohemian style. The ring is also, if you've been watching this series, um, I made buckles and these rings also out of my mixed media papers. So I like to make my necklaces um, often adjustable and as often as possible, uh, reversible so that you have two totally different color combinations. So I've done that with a tassel that has a little bronze feather. And then all the beads that I use are semi-precious stones. This one has some yellow jade, uh, tourmaline, amethyst, carnelian, uh, turquoise, and hematite. And then this bead here is um, kind of what inspired me to do the paper beads. If you can see, it's that same little wrapped style, but this is in, in Thai silver. And if you're not familiar with Thai silver, it is a higher um, grade as far as co silver content than sterling silver. So it would go sterling silver, um, Thai silver, and then fine silver. So this is Thai silver is usually, I think, between 95 and 97% silver. So it's going to tarnish just like sterling silver or anything else. But in all my pieces, I include a buffing cloth so that you can you keep those shiny. Same here. These are all sterling silver. And then I did it with some leather. And these are some African metal. These, these silver beads are African. And then turquoise again. And carnelian, turquoise again. Uh, the yellow jade, more turquoise, some um, aquamarine, amethyst, peridot, tourmaline, labradorite, and this is actually also jade, um, and the more turquoise. So I don't know if I showed those very well, but there's lots of pictures on the Etsy shop also. And then this one, I believe, is a, oops, is about 33 inches long. Um, it's not adjustable, but it's a nice long one. So that's that one. And then I also did one in a lasso style, I call it. And so this is just on leather. This one is adjustable. You would just kind of slide where you want to wear it if you want the ring up uh, higher on your neck. I like to kind of wear them long. I would probably wear it kind of like this. If I can lay that out there. And again, this one has, it's reversible also. And then on this one, on the tassels, I used the same Thai silver bead, and then I used the same bronze feather. But then I also used my paper beads and tried to do little um, groupings in kind of a real boho style. So um, that's just fun. And then that is also on sterling silver chain. And um, this one is, I believe, 28 inches about length. And this one sells for 56. And I forgot to say that this one is 75. So I'll put the link to those. Um, with my bracelets, everything comes really pretty gift wrapped. And with my bracelets, I also include this uh, bronze uh, bracelet helper. And I'll show you real quick how that works. So you do that there. And you just hold that in the palm of your hand and it allows you to have a free hand to use to do the hooked part. So you just kind of go whichever direction and then that just kind of holds in place while you hook it. So I always include these with all of my bracelets that have a hook so that if you're alone, you can get that done or you don't have to bother your your housemate. So there we go, jewelry. So we have that. And then like I said, I'll have the, I'll go through the digital downloads at the end in the drawing goodie box. So here is the journal and I had a hard time deciding how to start showing it if I showed it with all closed up how it's supposed to be or exploding and then take everything out as I show it to you, I think will be easier. And then you can see how it's supposed to close up. I started out trying to have it 
be able to close with this cute little tie that is um, with sari silk. It's kind of just kind of a purple sari silk and these really nice heavy brass beads. Um, but I got to a point where I just really wanted to add jewelry to my book and it wasn't gonna close. And I kind of like them to sit on a shelf in my studio anyway. Um, it's so colorful and pretty that it just makes you wanna go up and grab it and touch it and look through it. So um, that's how I will display it on my bookcase. So um, to start, um, if you're just joining me for the first time, like I said, it's kind of hard to tell because it won't close at this point, but uh, I basically started out with a file folder for my book portion, uh, which I'll show later. And then I used six envelopes and they're supposed to um, atta attach and kind of accordion on each other in this way. But as you can see, I've got so much stuff in there, they're not closing up anymore. So you'll get to see how that's supposed to work at the end. Um, so when I started, uh, I had my prompt list. I kind of, once I figured out, I knew I wanted to do it colorful and I knew I wanted to uh, probably maybe the second episode in or so, I decided to make it be a travel journal because I've always wanted to do a travel journal. And I decided because it was colorful that I was going to make it in a bohemian style. So that kind of, it's kind of a mashup of a lot of things that I was wanting to do anyway. So I made this list um, just of things that I would think would go into a travel journal. Um, and like I said, this um, is just a nice prompt because if you get stuck ever, you can kind of look at something you haven't done yet. And I didn't end up using everything on this list, um, but I did quite a bit of it. <clears throat> so uh, let's see here where to begin okay so my first thing that I knew I wanted to do um, when you travel I guess I should start in the luggage part I guess so when you travel um, you know you need luggage so even though I had started this project I had this as a book form and then halfway through I decided I wanted it to be like a piece of luggage I had a carpet bag that I is one of my favorite things from traveling that I've brought home. And I wanted to use that for my inspiration. So I ripped off the cover that I had and I started over and I did a carpet bag inspired. So all of this um, that you see is paper book page. And so it's, it's not the sturdiest thing in the world, but um, I don't know that I would do it and sell something like this just because of the wear and tear but you can do this with real leather or pleather or something else that's more durable. But I was really trying to challenge myself with the book page. So as you can see, um, this was my mixed media papers and I actually cut them into strips because I wanted, I was trying to kind of mimic the striped carpet fabric on my carpet bag. So I cut them into strips. Each one was from different paper. And then I uh, uh, sewed them together. Well, I glued them onto another piece of paper. And then I did some stitching in between each one. I made leather out of book page. And you can see it's the book page through there. I, I left it here and there so that I can prove to you that this was all out of book page. Um, I used scrim uh, to kind of give it a little bit more durability. And that did help. But I did, you know, this is all leather made from book page. So that's kind of, even the little buckle. Now there's tutorial on all of this um, in, in this series. Uh, I did the, because I wanted it to be like luggage, I didn't want it to open like a book. I decided I was gonna use this to put things in. I've got lots of little brochures and tickets and things. I thought if some people um, actually draw or you know do artwork while they're on a trip, they'll sketch in different things, different buildings or whatever they're at. So I'm just showing you that you could do that and put that in there. Um, it's a file folder, so there's a little pocket back here and in the front. And then I did kind of accordion size. Again, you can see that's just with book page and then the scrim to strengthen it, but it's all um, with that leather look to look like an old piece of luggage. So that was kind of that part. And like I said, I'm not gonna put anything in that now because I'm gonna actually put things from my trips into that. So that was my first luggage part. And then I thought, well, okay, you need, you need um, tickets and you need a passport. So I use that theme a lot. So I'm gonna pull out first, this would be my first envelope that I had. 
and I'll pull this out. I'm gonna leave things out they also, um, just to make it easier, I think, to close up at the end. So I had made um, just some journal cards. Um, I d wanted to do exotic travel, so I picked out stencils and different things that I already had that gave me that feel. And so one of them had a stencil of an elephant. And I go through all of this in, in this uh, in the video, but uh, this is currency. If you travel, collect currency from around the world. This was done on tissue paper and then decoupaged. You can print it out just on copy paper, but you can see kind of through that everything is just book page. Um, and then I made it writable by using gesso, white gesso on it. So um, these are some journal cards. Uh, I ended up making this little elephant uh, a little holder for some tickets. And then I put the date for the ticket number. I put the date of my trip. So you could do one for each place that you go and then just write, you know, your first impressions or something like that. And then I also did some slow stitching in this journal. So those are just to give you some ideas. And then the passport, obviously you need a passport if you're gonna travel. And so again, it's all made from book page. You can see through there. And one of the things I'm including in my free downloadables is the map that I just printed off the internet. Um, you can find free maps and you can kind of see that. Um, I, I kind of modeled this after my passport and it had little quotes in it. So I also have a sheet of travel quotes. And so I've done one on every page and I've used them throughout the journal too. So um, this is just my passport and it's all writable again because of the gesso. So that was my little passport book. Um, and then I just did a little uh, kind of to hold my passport the way that I wanted on the cover. I just did this little stretchy cord and then some of my paper beads on there. So that's the first page. Now the inside of the first page then I uh, decided maps. You need maps when you're traveling, right? So I ended up taking a map and I just put all the different places I've traveled and the date. And so it kind of is a fun little graphic that you can have. And then I just folded it into a paper airplane shape, sort of, with my lack of origami skills and tucked it in. So I thought that was just kind of a fun little thing. And then another travel ticket, again, um, this is, has a quote, once a year go someplace you've never been before, and another place to journal. And then just another little journal card with a little embellishment on it, nothing fancy. And then this is uh, just a three stacked pocket, or two actually, stacked pocket. So this one envelope ended up having a pocket on the front, the inside to put things, and then these other two little pouches. Okay, so then the next page here is one of my favorites. Um, so I'll go ahead and take these two out. So this is some of my slow stitching, another quote. And this, if you can see in the background, in addition to photocopying the currency that I had brought home, I also had coins. And so I've made um, papers, and I'll show those at the end to what they ended up looking like. Those are also included in uh, the digital download. So um, I made a graphic out of that and I did it onto book page. And again, it's writable. So that's a card and this is one of my favorites. So this is from that, um, I made a master board, uh, which I'll show you a picture of that in the digital, but I ended up cutting it apart. I had stitched on it. Um, so this is the actual original um, mixed media papers. And then one of my slow stitching pieces, this is also done on book page. So I've actually, I'll show at the end, I've actually, all these inserts and cards and everything, I've also scanned those in, in part of the downloads. So that's just a cute little fun card. And then I also did a little tutorial on making this ribbon that I came up, I thought it was, a, it was just a cute kind of a bohemian shape to have it look kind of like a feather or an arrow. Um, so I've done that on some ribbon too. And that's going to be one of the goodies that you get. And then some, just added some beaded trim. You can see I left this book page so that you can see this is all made from book page and an envelope. And again, this is one of my mixed media papers um, and a little heart that this is actually um, a baby wipe that had been used. And then a little metal heart that I, I made for my jewelry making. So there's that. And then inside this one was another fun thing. So... I had started getting some scraps from already cutting my papers apart. 
So I made a little scrapbook out of scraps. And I haven't put pictures in, in this yet, but I'll show you real quick. I ended up, um, there's a tutorial on how I did this. There's some slow stitching on it. The words that you see are from the actual book page. Those were just little parts that I left exposed when I did my decoupage over it with my uh, mixed media paper scraps. So that was a fun little project to do. And then the inside is all book page painted black so that you can add your photos and then you can write on it in silver, gold, white, anything like that, and show up like an old-fashioned scrapbook would be. So I did that, and then I actually, where'd they go? My little box of things I've collected. I haven't put any in there yet, but I, I did go ahead and print these on photo paper, um, but they're just photos from my trip also, uh, just from different trips that that are, kind of spark a memory, and I just printed them out really tiny so they would fit in my book. So. Those will go in there. And then, uh, so that's all I had on this inside. Um, this is just a piece of my decorative paper that I made and I didn't make a pocket or anything out of it. My book was getting so thick at that point that I just left it to be decorative. Okay, and then the other one on this side, we'll just do one whole side and then the other whole side. Um, some of this you haven't seen yet. Some of this you have because I have already done tutorials on things. I think this is one that I had done. So this is just, um, you know, a tag. We do these in, uh, in all kinds of junk journaling. So I wanted to kind of stick with that tag idea. Um, and also for travel, you put luggage tags on your luggage, right? So uh, using that tag shape was still kind of fun. And then I did my, my same little arrow shaped, um, ribbon on that and just did some embellishing. Nothing too fancy. We'll leave that out too. And then this one um, was um, currency. So I had been working a lot with um, manipulating currency in this journal. And the other thing that you do is you use traveler checks. At least we did. Be back before credit cards um, and, and ATM cards and that kind of thing, you used traveler's checks when you traveled. So there's a tutorial on this. It's just like a little checkbook cover style, again, with book page. And then I made like a little checkbook for the traveler's check. So I just printed these out off the internet. And then I perforated them with my sewing machine so that they tear out. But you could use it as a little notepad, you know, for your purse or something, or even just like for your journaling or whatever. So that is that little thing here. And then this one is just the pocket again with one of the mixed media papers and just a little bit of ribbon added. And then there is a pull out here from the top. So this one would have been like one of your bill paying long envelopes. Um, again, one of my mixed media papers, just a little embellishment. Um, and it's just a journaling card. I'm not staying in frame here, sorry. Okay, and then this, uh, the next side of this pocket, I used my mixed media paper again on book page to make another pocket that comes out this way. Um, and then within that, I needed to do postcards. Now, this is something I haven't shown you yet. Um, my mixed media papers ended up being um, a certain size because they were made out of book page. So when I went to add them to my envelope, sometimes they weren't big enough and I would have to make do. I go through that in my, uh, if you go to each, each uh, video has a tutorial about different things like that. So one of the things that I may or may not have mentioned is one of the ways that I wanted to get creative and do some of these papers is to t change the sheen of things. So because I had hand painted them all with acrylic paint, I then used like metallic markers or pens. So that gave you a different sheen. Um, but then I decided for certain things like um, tags and let's see, like that cover, like this cover is a different sheen if you can see that. It allowed me to um, protect the give it more durability for one thing and then add a texture with using fabric and then pulling it off so i go through how i do all those things but sheen was one of the things and i ended up um during the process of this buying some different uh, mod podge they have them in different sheens so uh, most of the time i use matte mod podge this one i used super glossy and i did two coats and you can see how shiny that is and the reason I did that is these, I decided to make 
um, postcards. So I hadn't done any postcards yet. So I took um, just some of my book page. I sturdied it up a, a bit by, you know, using two or three cop two or three pages glued together and then did my gesso for my writability. And then I decided if I wanted it to be, uh, look like a postcard, that's usually a much shinier paper on a postcard. Uh, so I did the super glossy and then these are real stamps. Um, you can buy um, stamps and I don't know if I've shown this before yet or not, but um, on, on Etsy, um, I bought this whole, just a whole batch. I think it was Etsy or eBay, but in my, I think it was Etsy. Just stamps from around the world so that you don't know what you're going to get, but you get like a whole bunch of them. Um, and they're not expensive. So I just kind of dig through and see what looks good on my particular thing. So um, those are a couple of stamps. And then I wanted to just compare the sheen. So this one I haven't put any sealer on yet, but I'm going to make it shiny also. But that's just so that you get that shiny postcard postcard look. I also used um, uh, like gloss on maybe uh, tags that I'll show you here in this in this back page. This again is something that I had not shown yet. I had not done the back. So this would basically be the back of your file folder. And uh, so I had a new toy and decided to use it. And my new toy I bought myself for um, I guess it was Valentine's Day, was um, a Vagabond, a Tim Holtz um, Vagabond 2. I didn't have any kind of die cutter, so I decided I'm just going to go for it and get a good one that's um, mechanical so I don't have, or electric, so I don't have to crank it. So I made this, and I think, let's see. put it in my giveaway package. Um, so how I made this little three tuck thing uh, is with uh, this stitch slot pocket set for Maddie's Crafting Joy. I'll put the link to that, but it's if you have a die cutter, it's kind of a fun thing. So it comes in two pieces. Um, you, I cut this out of book page, and then this is for your other decorative piece. So you'll cut this out, and it can be like added onto the top of your it's not necessary but if you want to decorate it with a different um pattern paper on each one then you use this little one so that's um i'll put the link to that but this is kind of where what i started with i was using this one particular book that had really brittle paper and so i i went to fold it over you're supposed to fold these over like this and then actually um cut another piece of of paper whatever you're using for the back of this pocket so then it could actually be its own detached pocket i attached mine to my book but uh if if i had another square of fabric back or paper back here then i've created this little slot thing so that's kind of how it's supposed to work uh and like i said i didn't use this one so let me pull these little things out so you can kind of see what it was supposed to look like. So again, I couldn't fit um, my the paper that I wanted to use. I didn't have a big enough piece for this whole back. So this is actually a strip of my mixed media paper on the top, and then a little bit that goes behind here in the back. But then you see that this is a different paper. I did go ahead and make that like the uh, pocket that you're supposed to, and then I attached the whole thing to the back of my book. And then I also, um, kind of my thought process for this, because I'm doing a travel thing and I was getting to the end of my book, um, I thought, okay, well, when you go get your luggage, um, if you're traveling first class, you get this high priority tag put on your luggage so that it goes on last and comes off first. So I, I had this little high priority stamp and then I just used a little piece of my leather that's flaking off already. Um, just to make a decorative little tag. And then I did a little tassel with my paper beads. So that is that little tag. And then I had made this earlier on in one of the videos uh, when I was doing the whole carpet bag thing, I was gonna attach this to the outside. I ended up not liking that, so I took it off. So I thought, well, you know, on a trip, I've gone on trips where um, you have to leave behind your luggage at one location and take a smaller bag to go on an overnight or a weekend thing. 
and you lock your luggage up in a locker kind of deal. So I thought, well, that's what I'm gonna make this little pocket thing is is like a, an airport locker uh, type situation. So I ended up putting little numbers on mine on a little ticket shaped um, backing thing. So to make that, I also had a die cutter and I'm gonna share that with you just so that you see these little supplies. Cause this is all new to me doing the die cutting thing. Um, but I really like this one because it gives you all different kinds of labels. It's from, it's a Sizzix Thinlets and it's a Tim Holtz design. So I'll put the link to this too, but it's nice because it has stamps and all just different kinds of medallions and labels and things. So this will be fun to use, but that's what I used um, to cut out my little, this is a tinier, a tinier one, but that's what I used to cut out that little tag. Obviously you could just hand do these, you know. It's just a rectangle and then cut the corners off. So I did that and just with some little number stamps. So made a cute little pocket thing. And then on this side, oh, I didn't show these. So um, this is just another little, you know, using my mixed media papers and just making some more little tickets. And again, this one I had used a gloss on and not on these others. So it just kind of mixes up the, the sheens. And then my luggage tag, um, I have a tutorial on this when I did the leather making and I designed it after um, an actual lug luggage tag and I had made the little buckle and the belt and all that. So how they work normally is you take this buckle off and then it's a pocket this way so that you put your, uh, your address card, which that was actually this card that I made that would go inside here and that way when you opened it, no one could take it out because of the buckle, but they'd see your name and address, phone number, whatever you left in there. So I did that um, on those. And then I also um, put a little quote behind here. So if you if you do have it without anything in it. So that was that little one. And then on the front side of this, I just have a little, um, this was a smaller envelope. I just did a, a tag. Um, this was made from one of my stencils. Um, stenciling it and decor, you know, coloring it and then making it thicker for a pocket, just a little tuck. And again, these are just some ticket shaped um, for my mixed media paper. And then again, I was using currency. So this is just some currency from uh, decoupage onto some ticket shapes again. And then on this one was another little fun project. So there's actually a couple of pullouts. So this envelope pulled out from the top and then also there was a pocket on the back side. So the top, I did a boarding pass because if you're traveling, you're maybe flying and even a train, you need a boarding pass. So I had designed um, on Adobe Illustrator, I'm just learning how to do all this, um, a boarding pass and it's, you know, has a little part that can tear off and it's writable with the gesso on the back. <clears throat> so there is in the free downloadables, there is um, this boarding pass, and it's also in the package. If you buy the package on my Etsy shop that has lots of stuff, it also includes a page that has three of these on it. So there's the boarding pass. And then I just used just the ticket because I ended up using the this part, you'll see later, as a pocket. So I had another ticket. And then this was another just little fun thing. I had brought back from one of my trips a little brochure that was folded in this way. And I really liked it because it was a brochure on one side and a map on the other side. So I just used some graph paper. Um, in another one that in the tutorial I did, I printed, I actually printed a map on, on one side. That's gonna be in my, in my freebie goodies. Um, but I just thought that was a fun way to fold a little thing for a, um, for a journal. So there's a tutorial on that. And in the next page here, this was a fun one. This was very early on in one of my videos. Um, when you travel to exotic places, sometimes they're very hot and humid. And so I purchased a fan very early in one of my trips and I still use it to this day because I love it. Um, but it's just a little fan. This one is all made out of book page with the mixed media papers. And then I made them writable um, with the gesso on the back. So you can, you can write on those um, and you can just use it as a fan. So there is a second one of these also going in the goodie bag uh, or in the goodie drawing box, um, which is, you know, all kinds of extras from this project. So uh, we'll leave that out. So that's the fan. And then 
This again was another boarding pass I used to make an envelope. Um, you, one of the things on my prompt list was um, a, a tip envelope. So, you know, at the end of your stay, you may leave a tip in your room. Um, so I just used a boarding pass and I made this one much more decorative, adding things to it than just the plain one. Um, a little embellishment for the closure, another little quote. And then inside of this is another little ticket, two tickets. So it says, and so the adventure begins, admit one. So I just, you know, anything that kind of to me spoke travel related. Um, my perforation here is coming apart. So lots of tickets, lots of tickets and things. And then of course, currency. I collect currency whenever I travel. Um, any, anywhere outside of the United States, it's fun to collect their currency because it's different than ours. It's a cheap souvenir. It's beautiful artwork. It's colorful. Um, so I've done it in a couple of different ways. This um, this I actually have also as a uh, in the downloadables. I've scanned all of these after I've made them into journal cards, so that you can just you know print them and cut them out. So there's different currency, and so I made like a billfold type wallet. Um, on this back side of this envelope. Uh, so there's a tutorial on all this. And then the other thing you can do is print them on tissue paper and use them for decoupage. So I've done that also in some of them when you just kind of want them to be part of your mixed media. And then this one is same thing. It's just um, the print it, printed on uh, regular paper and then I uh, attached it to a book page. And then I used my jelly plate and actually used it to get that kind of uh, print finish. At some point, when I get better at it, I'm going to do a jelly plate tutorial because there's so many fun things you can do with it. And I am definitely using it. Um, I've already started playing around on my next on my next project. And then it's just some more currency, different places, just more cards. And then this one I also used um, to make my pocket out of a uh, currency and then just embellished it a bit more again these are all in a tutorial the other way that you can um, do this is print it onto tissue paper and then i decoupage it onto book page and i like that because it made it thinner like real money um, so but still using the book page and then i made a little money clip for that okay that and then I didn't do a, a thing for here. And the reason I did it intentionally, it's the perfect size for postcards that I already have brought back. So I'm just going to use it to put actual postcards in. So I didn't do anything there. And then um, another early on video um, that I did was, this is just a, a little plastic CD holder, um, a, a mini CD holder. And then I've just added, I had made, uh, when I made the, when I made the fan, it gave me scraps that I made the beads. And then when I was making the beads, I thought I should do buckles and buttons too. So um, these are just some of the buttons that I made for that kind of coin envelope closure. And then inside of this, I just lined it with my mixed media paper, you know, because it's on book page. And then I had made a puzzle. This is also on book page, but it's puzzle journal cards. So I, I, I take photos when I'm traveling. Um, intending to use them for puzzles. I do puzzles on my computer, but you can, if you have a Cricut maker, you can also make puzzles and actual puzzles. You can do them thick on like chipboard weight things to, to be like a real puzzle. But I did these um, on uh, just to be journal cards. So they're thin. I wanted them to fit in my book, but it, they actually do go together in a photo. So I just thought that was another fun travel thing because that's something that I do on my travels is take puzzle pictures. And then um, as far as the postcards too, I should mention this because I didn't do it on my trip and I really wish I would have and I think I will from now on, is whenever you go somewhere, you buy postcards. And I had never thought to do this, but while you're on your trip, write down a postcard to yourself that is your first impression of where you are, stamp it with a local stamp and send it to yourself. That way when you get home, you have a postcard, a stamp, a postmark, and all of that from somewhere else that you can have for your collection. You'll be able to use it for ephemera, you know, to, it's your own thing. Um, but I thought that was something that I will do in the future. So I thought I'd share that idea. And then the other thing that I did is I had made, um, and I haven't shown this, so I should probably grab a piece of paper. 
Um, let's see. I had made my own handmade paper from book page. I don't know if you can even see. This was made with just book page, old books. And I use it for my packaging, for my jewelry. And I, it, it's the color that it is because I didn't like just the, when you do a bunch of different um, book page together, it comes out just gray, kind of a putty color from the, you know, the print getting smooshed up with the paper. So I actually dyed mine to be the color of my um, boxes and things that I use for my jewelry. So because this was all made from book page, I went ahead and wanted to use some in this journal. And it kind of ends up with a fabric-y kind of feel because it's from old book page. So I did use some of that. And that's what this is. You can actually sew it. It's stiff now because I, after I did it, I did... Um, Mod Podge on it just because I, I needed it to be more durable because it's pretty fragile um, paper just on its own. So this is one of the, the little buckles that I had made. And I also used one somewhere else, I think on the, on the scrapbook and I didn't show. That's also one that I just used as a decorative element. So these are the same ones you can see in the necklaces that I showed. Um, so just some little buckles. And then um, I did this uh, for like the tip envelope that you leave in your room. And so inside I put a piece of my uh, coin paper that I made. This was from all the travel co the coins. Um, you can see they were laid when I scanned them onto book page. This is also one of the downloadables. Um, so I had just printed this um, on regular paper and I'm letting myself have a pass for that because I actually had scanned it onto book page. So that still met my book page challenge. And then again, this is just um, a bill that I did on to book page decoupage. So that was my little tip envelope. Okay, so I think that's everything. I guess I should leave these out so you can see how it's supposed to close. So if you've never seen this type of journal before, it's a stacked envelope junk journal. So you would just you know, fold one over, that's an envelope, that's an envelope, and you just alternate them. But you can see because of all my different beads and things, even with nothing in that, it's pretty thick. So normally it would it would go this way. So, you know, if you don't add all these beads and so many thick things in there, um, it should actually close like that. And then I actually had a feather. Oh, where's my pencil too? I have another little thing, let's see. What did I do with it? Okay, so then I had also made, um, back when I did the beads, I had also covered this pencil with them um, just to have another little fun thing and then the little dangle. So it's just my little pencil for writing in my journal. You could do it on a pen. And then I have a feather, these resin feathers. Uh, let's see. I don't know where my fit, I don't know where my big fun feather is. So it's somewhere in the world here, but I'm gonna show you in the goodie, goodie box, um, there will be a feather in there. So if you haven't seen this before, I also, because I make jewelry, I use resin um, in some of my jewelry making. And when you uh, get to the end of whatever you're making for jewelry, there's some left over and I don't like to waste it. So um, that's kind of why I've been making buttons and you know, beads and buckles and that kind of thing is to use in the feathers to use my leftover resin. So in my, on my channel, there is actually a jewelry and paper craft mashup playlist. And that's where you would find those types of things where I'm using resin in paper craft. So um, that's kind of it, uh, the end of my journal, but you can see, you know, I ended up with with all these things that have to fit in there. So that's why it's gonna live on a bookcase um, where you just wanna pick it up and look through it. So um, that's the journal. I hope that you uh, enjoyed that. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, like I said. Now, if you wanna stick around, I'm gonna show you my uh, what's gonna be on that, uh, or what is on the Etsy thing. So like I said, these are the freebies. So I'll show you those first, I guess. So uh, the prompt list that just has all the different, you know, things to do with travel that will give you, uh, help prompt you in what you want, want to put in your journal. So that's that. This is the map that I used, um, that I just got off the internet uh, to use for my, the background in my passport book. 
So uh, that's that map. These are the travel quotes that I used. Um, this is just on printed on paper. You can cut them apart then. I've also done them with the, the cutout for um, a Cricut Maker. So if you want that, I have a print file and a cut file. I didn't do it as a print and cut because if you have a Cricut Maker, you know you lose a lot of paper around the edge uh, where it has to have that, um, that laser scan line. So I just did it a different way um, where you print it on your printer and then you just do a cut on your Cricut. So I have those two files. If anyone's interested, you can ask me and I'll make those available. And then um, my carpet bag pieces uh, for my flaps and my buckle. Um, I, I have those as a pattern that you could just use if yours ends up the same size as mine. And so what I did was, um, because I use a file folder and they're all kind of the same size, I went ahead and did an instruction sheet um, from my tutorial with the dimensions and kind of thing just to kind of help guide you um, in making that. It's not as complicated as it seems. Um, so... Uh, there's just that to make it easier. And then this, again, is in the freebies, but then it's also in the other packet. So um, this is all free stuff. And I'm not sure if I have the quotes on there yet or not, but if I don't, I will put them on there. Okay, so that's the freebies. I'll put a link in the description. And then for the, um, the paid ones, I had 20 different um, designs unique designs. They're this size. This is the actual book page size. Um, I was going to also go ahead and do them, which I actually did take the time to do them in eight and a half by 11, each one and scale it. Um, but the problem was my file was larger than Etsy will allow even zipping it to, um, to allow that in one post. So I figured you can do it yourself. Um, I had somebody already tell me that they did and, and it worked out great. So uh, there's two per page, and I'll just kind of go through here quickly each one that you'll get because you can only put 10 pages, uh, 10 photos on Etsy. So this is, there's and there's 10 pages just in uh, these designs. So there's another one. And this one has some little feathers. And I've color adjusted these so that they're more like the original, you know, uh, when you print them out, they'll be as, as vivid and bright as my originals were. And this one's just a little smaller because it was, I may have already had trimmed it before I scanned it. And these two. I didn't end up using all of these in my journal. Um, but I did most of them. I think there were only a couple that I didn't use at least some part of. So those are um, 20 different designs. And then I had done a master board, which you saw in the journal. I had cut up and used different parts of it. So this is the actual scan from the original um, before I cut it up master board. So that is also in there. Somebody did ask me if I would do a tutorial on making a master board, if I would make another one because I had cut this one up. I made a small one um, just for fun. I just have so many scraps. I even put some of the ribbon in this one and some of the trim. So I think I might um, I might scan it first, but then I might just get, put this in the freebie giveaway um, in the drawing also just for fun. So um, that might end up in there. And then, uh, so that's part of it too. Now I printed all of these are printed on um, Hammer Hill Color Premium paper um, that is... 32 pound, I believe, um, paper. So uh, I had some other paper that uh, a Walmart brand, Pen and Gear, uh, that was, I think, 28 pound. It was very similar to that. So as far as the color, how the color came out. Um, and I print on an Epson printer. Uh, so that just so you can kind of see the quality that I printed them out. And then, like I said, I ended up with about 11 pages of bonus things. So I've, I've taken all of my little cards and also scan those so you can just um, either use them for inspiration or cut them out and make them part of your uh, final design too so and those and then again the currency these were the ones that I had already made into cards and then I had scanned the coin and the reason they're this size is um, because that's the amount of coin that I had it overlapped it but I wanted to make it a 
you know, a finished looking thing. So you can um, enlarge this. Obviously, this is the actual size of the coin, but if you enlarge it, the coins are also going to be bigger. So um, I, I wanted to print this out in the actual size so you could see what you'll be getting. So that's a coin. And then I also did them on uh, with book page in the background, and I really like that too. So it, they're just a nice background. Having these, you can use them, and like I said, and blow them up on your and make other designs, I suppose. Um, and then these are the the boarding passes. And then I had done this passport label on my um, Adobe Illustrator also. Um, so I, I printed this out. On the download, it'll show just one label, um, and it would print out this size, you know, just small one label in the middle of the paper. You can, at least on my printer, you can say print, um, I think anywhere from one to 16, um, and it'll scale them to fit on that page. So this one was me saying to print nine on one page, um, and it got it to be a nice size, and then I, I actually then have more. So I'm only pointing that out so that when you print it, make sure you print more uh, to get more use out of your paper. And then again, uh, my sticker sheet, like I said, I did this so that you can cut these out on Cricut. Um, and I used, um, I'll put a link to the sticker paper that I ended up buying um, because when I bought just like ones that you can find at the office supply place or Walmart or wherever, it comes where this back is in sections in stripes and I wanted the back to be solid because I only want to, you know, to cut and be able to peel these off without the backing coming off too. So in order to do that, um, they have different, they actually have a sticker setting on um, Cricut. If you use that setting, it'll cut out your entire thing, but it'll cut it out the whole thickness of your sticker. It won't leave it on the page together. So to do this one, I used, um, I think I used a sticker setting, but less pressure or washi tape more pressure, something like that. So um, you might do a test first. I, I need to write it down because I, I tried so many different things that I'm not really remembering which one I used, but I almost think I did, um, or even just a regular with more pressure, uh, washing with more pressure. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna include uh, these already printed out on sticker paper also in the little freebie, or uh, my drawing also. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. I've started putting a box together of fun stuff. So you'll get to see. Now to get in this drawing, I haven't picked an end date yet. I should do that right now. Um, so I'll put the drawing, what is today? Today is Thursday. So let's say uh, if you're brand new and you want some time to watch them all, uh, maybe like a week from now, like let's say a week from tomorrow, I don't know what that date is, but a week from Friday is when I'll do the drawing, a week from tomorrow, which is um, tomorrow is the 19th, March 19th. So a week from that, on that Friday. I'm gonna do a drawing, so to get in, entered into the drawing, all you need to do is leave a comment um, any comment on any of the videos in the series. So you can do it on every one of them and you'll get entered in, you know, I think there are something like 18 or 19 videos at this point. So you'll get entered that many times every time you comment and then I'll do draw and, and then I'm gonna send this box out. So I don't have everything in here yet, but I wanted to kind of give you a teaser of what is gonna be in there. I'm just gonna maybe I'll leave it in here. So this actually is so funny. Um, you know, I've been making buttons and I saw this. My husband had given me flowers for our anniversary and it, he, he brought home two bunches and they were in, wrapped in this beautiful gold, um, I don't even know what to call it. It's not really like paper, but it is like paper. It's what they wrapped flowers in, but it's, it's just, it's like gold threads. And I thought, oh, these will make beautiful buttons. So. I'm giving up a little piece of that as my tissue paper in the box um, because, you know, if you do crafting and stuff, that would just make a real pretty book cover. So I have that, and then I think I'm gonna pull this out just because this box is too big. So let's see, what do we have in here? So this is the one that I started doing the demo. So it's got the leather. You can take it apart and just use the leather if you want. Um, I didn't print this cover out on the best of papers. When I did it, I didn't have my good paper yet. So it's not as bright as the original, but you might like it okay, I don't know. 
So it's got, this was just what I used to, to do the demo of my stitching. So there'll be that in there. And then I had the extra fan that I made for the demo. So there's a little fan. Okay, and then um, this was the clasp, a leather clasp. This part's come off, so I need to maybe make a new a new part for that. But um, this has the little clasp from the carpet bag that you can use some more leather. I have a little box of leather, so there'll be more leather, uh, this paper leather, in the in the kit. And you know, I would recommend using it more for uh, decoupaging, you know, under on a layer or something like that, than to be a structural thing because it's on book page. It's not the sturdiest of stuff, but um, I love I love the finish on it. I think it came out really nice. So there'll be a bunch of scraps of leather in there. And then I did make a whole bunch of these little window things, um, luggage tags. This one doesn't have the little belt on it or anything, but it's still a cute pocket. So I'm gonna include that. And then there is one that has the little belt and buckle on it also with a little heart inside. So there'll be that one. Like I said, there may be some more of that. I will see what I what I find when I clean off my desk. Um, and then I had made another little, uh, one of these little books. So that'll be in there. That was from the demo. And then my little puzzle thing, I don't have the little clasp on it, but this is one of the little mini envelopes um, that I used for my puzzle pieces. That will be there. And a little piece of my slow stitching that I ended up not using that's kind of cute on book page. That will be there. This was one of the, just one of the pictures. I just like this. It should, it's just kind of a, if you've watched these videos, it was kind of a reminder of how when you print on gessoed book page, it has this d different effect that's almost more like a painting. So this is more of just like a little reminder thing. I thought that was cute. And then these are just um, the sticker, but they're not on sticker. These are just the quotes that I didn't use that are just on paper. I don't think they're on sticker. Maybe they are. No, I don't think so. I think this was my practicing doing a cutout on my, on my cutter. So there's that. And then I'll show these in a second here. These, a couple of pieces of my handmade paper will go there. And then all these are everything that I've printed out. Um, so you'll get a copy of everything um, of each of the papers. So that way, if you don't wanna go and buy the download, if you haven't already, um, you'll at least have them printed out. So that, that will be there. And then um, there's a few little extras here too. And then I may, if I have one, I'm gonna look and see um, if I have a flash drive laying around that's empty, I'll maybe download the printable that's on my Etsy. And that can be part of this drawing price too. And then, so there's a, one of the maps I had printed out. Then I had done some samples um, printing on vellum. So I'm gonna include that too. This is, this is that one coin um, page that shows what it's like if you if you blow it up to eight and a half by 11. So you can see the coins are really big, but they'll be fun for, you know, to cut out and use for something too. So I'll put that in there. Then I printed out that master board. I need a piece of white paper so you can see how pretty this is. I just love how vibrant the color um, is when you put it against white. So this is that master board printed on vellum also. So I'm gonna throw that in there. And then I had some um, more currency. This one I had done kind of uh, a master board. I didn't glue it down, obviously. I just, I didn't want to ruin the money. But I had printed them out in kind of a master board layout. And so I, these are just on regular copy paper, but they're great to cut out and use for decoupage or whatever. I'm going to include those. And then there are just a few more um, different currencies that I had printed out when I wasn't sure what I wanted to use for um, for my little journal cards. So I have all that extras. So I'm going to include all of that too. And then the fun goodies. Let's see all this. And there may be more. Like I said, I haven't cleaned off my um, table yet. I need to totally go through everything, clean it off for my next project. So I'm going to do that. Um, and there may end up being more things in that in the in that box. I'm also going to put in little packages. This is just a little bit of the washi tape, some of the washi tapes that I used, and the different ribbons, and some leather, and some cording. 
those are, and I, I'll pull out, I haven't done it yet, but I will pull out some of those beaded trims that I used. I have more of those too, so I'm gonna put some of those in there. And then this is a fun little goodie bag. I'm just gonna dump it out in here. So these are a couple of the buckles. I have those. So you get a couple of buckles and, oops, come back. These are a couple of just, um, they just have like maybe one or two coats of resin, but you can drill a hole in it and, and use these or, you know, glue down half and have it be a little closure. So there'll be a couple of, of book page ones. And then there's going to be a couple of these little ones from my mixed media paper, little swirly ones. And then let's see, one of these little guys is in there. And I'm going to actually put in one of my buttons because I there's just, this is a one-off. Um, I just love this. This was actually made with um, eyelet fabric. And then I dyed it. And you can see it's just a cute little, a little button you can use for a closure. So this is one of the tutorials that I have too. I didn't end up using this, but I just thought it was cute. It's just a little butterfly that I also did resin on. So it's it could be jewelry or anything. Um, just a little embellishment butterfly. It's on book page, or it wasn't on book page, but it was on um, some kind of, uh, paper pack. I've had this a while, but I just, I almost used it in my book. I thought it was cute. And then, um, a whole bunch of these little beads so you can do some tassels. So there'll be some beads. And then I'm going to put in a couple of, these are the resin feathers that I just did. So I've got a couple of feathers. I'm going to put those in. And then I ended up not doing this, but I'm, I may at, at a future time. Um, so I decided I'm just going to put them in my giveaway. Uh, they are little book pages I was going to make a necklace out of them and I may still at some point um, I just needed their when I did these let's see these are all using my mixed media papers I had this idea to do like a flip necklace where you could depending on what you were wearing you would just have it be on a different page but when I went to put it together my holes aren't all lined up straight so they need to be I need to redo them and so these need to be um, maybe just use stitched. They have holes. It would be really cute to just hand stitch them onto a book page or, or onto your, your page for your journal, whatever you're doing. But these are just cute little, you know, things I made. So um, I'm going to throw those in there too. So we have all those little goodies. And then I might even just, this is mostly a reminder and a wave for me. This is a picture of um, a trip to Petra, Jordan. And... That's me right there, my husband photobombing. But these three little girls, they were so cute. They were selling jewelry in there. So you can kind of see she has a whole arm of necklaces. And because I make jewelry, and I was wearing like a stack of bracelets that I had made. So it was so cute because they're, you know, trying to get us to buy souvenirs and whatnot. So I bought some necklaces to bring home for the girls uh, for souvenirs. And then um, I gave her one of my bracelets because I'm, uh, you know, you're, there's a language barrier, but you're trying to tell me, you know, I make jewelry too. And so I gave her one of my little bracelets. And so they wanted, they took my cell phone and they wanted to, to do a selfie with all of us. So it's just a cute picture, but it's just a nod to this exotic travel theme and my jewelry making and sharing that with someone else around the world who makes jewelry. So um, I just thought that was a fun thing. So um, this is going to be my goodie, my goodie bag. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to probably be adding some more um, paper things, um, this little thing maybe and whatnot. So I hope um, that if you enjoyed that, you give me a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for the next one because I've got some great ideas. So I'm, I'm excited. We'll be starting when I get a little bit more organized, I think. So um, have a great rest of your day. Now go make something. Bye.